Now, what make a man brave a blizzard, kill in cold blood? I'm sure I don't know. You'd be surprised what a man would do. <laughs> you starting to see pictures, ain't you? If you could rate some of your your best like three characters that you put on screen from movies that you watched, would you, uh, would you be willing to do that? In? Wow, that's hard. Yeah. Um. Bro, that's what's getting ready to happen. You might as well get ready for Jamal, that. Yeah. You want to slate that? <laughs> Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Oh, Finkley, y'all, you good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, as long as you say that. <laughs> say that first. Finkley. So, I mean, first, I mean, you're you truly a bad mofo. I mean, <laughs> they should put a statue of you in Hollywood, not just a star, but with all the box office success. I mean, do, do, you, do you ever just feel like that, that people really give you the gratitude that you deserve for, for the work you've done? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, people tell me that all the time. You know, yeah. people always say, you know, I love your work, I love your work, I love your work. And that's great. Uh, it's a, it's really way different than than uh, people going, oh my God, I love you. You know, yeah. but people say I love your work, and that's yeah. important to me that they're paying attention to the fact that I actually do, work. put in the effort and I work. Yeah, yeah. I know that you watch your own movies. A lot of actors choose not to. There's a there, there's a, a scene in here that might be tough to watch. Have you have you watched this movie? I watched and, it a couple times already. And, I mean, was it was it any different watching like some of the scenes from this one? Then no. If if you if you could rate some of your your best like three characters that you put on screen from movies that you watched, would you, uh, would you be willing to do that? In? Wow, that's hard. Yeah. Um, let me see. Um, I go Walter Lee from Time to Kill. Um, and. Hmm. I love Ordell. Yeah. And Jackie Brown, just because Ordell's Ordell. Yeah. Uh, and I think this guy's gonna be, you know, up there in there too. Yeah. But I also love, um, you know, dude from Long Kiss Goodnight. Yeah. As my funny character. All right. All right. That's four. Sorry. My yeah. bad. I mean, it, you got a lot more that I yeah, could could yeah. ran through. <laughs> So the read on stage, like how was that experience? I know you've done a lot of theater and everything else. Did that read with the other actors? Did it play off on screen? You think later on? Um. Well, there's only well, there's a few of us who survived that reading and made it to the movie because we changed girls and we changed uh, Jodies, uh, and we changed because uh, Bob the Mexican was a French dude in the reading. Yeah. But um, I think what happened was. That reading, because when we did that reading, Quentin wasn't going to make the movie. Yeah. And after we did that reading, I think he pretty much saw that, okay, if we can sit here and read this movie and the audience can react to it that way, I guess I need to make this movie. Yeah. And, yeah, it it helped launch the making of the movie. Uh, the rewriting so that the ending would change and it wouldn't be the thing that got leaked online helped. Uh, it sent him to the next phase Sorry, of what Quentin does so well. Son, you can stop worrying about this whole right, deal right now. You think I'm in cahoots with that fellow all her? That's my formed. problem, boy. And then when we get to I the don't. rehearsal period where we rehearse like three weeks or so before we even start shooting, so we know what we're doing, we know who we are, we know what our relationships are, so all that makes for a better Oh! Got room for one more? Who the hell are you? And what happened to them? <laughs> Name's Major Marcus Warren, former U.S. Cavalry, currently a servant of the court, trying to bring a couple no goods in the market. You taking them into Red Rock? Figure that's where you headed, right? Yeah. That damn blasted blizzard has been on our ass for the last three hours. Well, you hightailing it halfway, the minutes have a dash. You know I am. May I come aboard? Well, Smoke, is it up to me? Yes, but it ain't up to me. Who's it up to? Fella in the wagon. Fella in the wagon ain't partial company? Fella in the wagon, he paid for a private trip, and I'm here to tell you, he paid a pretty penny for privacy. So if you want to go to Minnie's with us, 
You're gonna have to talk to him. Well, that's what I'll do. And last question. Uh, big protests on the University of Missouri caused a lot of ruckus in the press, and I know that at Morehouse that you also participate in, in protests and stuff. Do you look at the social media era and, like, think about, like, how that would have changed protests back in the day, or do you think it's... Well, I think the fact that we had to get up off our asses and go out there and do it, you know, helped. And, I mean, I think social media has its place in terms of, you know, alerting people and getting them da-da-da-da-da, but hopefully the fact that they all got out there and they were physically standing there and they did something, you know, made that happen. You know, yeah. you know, people are like, yo, man, the football players did something. I said, now their girlfriends told them they needed to. But, uh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Always love seeing you on yeah, screen, bro. <laughs>